What is going on guys? Ryan from Living Salty here and welcome to the first episode of the Miami International Boat Show. Right now I'm sitting in the Miami Beach Convention Center in the retail section where I'm going to start off my boat show experience and um, check out everything it has to offer here. I'm going to start off here and then I'll head over to the in-water section later today but first I'm going to start check out all this retail options and the boats that they have indoors. The Miami Boat Show has always been one of my favorite um, events of the entire year. I absolutely love boat shows and Miami is always at the top of my list. Um, they always go above and beyond here. So I'm super stoked to be here. I'm going to be coming for two days. I'm really excited about it. Going to meet some great people and have a great time. So let's get started with our journey. So I started the day in the retail pavilion, which is honestly one of my favorite parts of the entire boat show. I love just being able to see all the vendors and seeing what cool products they have to offer. All right, guys, I'm here with the Gale Force Twins again, and they have their own booth this time at the Miami International Boat Show. What's up, man? Amanda? Hi, Emily. yes. So we have our booth at the Miami Boat Show. We have our rods we're super excited about. We have our own line of Gale Force rods, so that's our primary focus to be here. But it's also a place for people to come and say hello. And hang out. And hang out with us. We've got shirts. we got our YouTube channel on playing in. on the TV. Closer. So come on in. we got our YouTube channel playing right here. Very nice, very it's, nice. Uh, Gale Force Twins on YouTube. We've, we got the merch. Yeah, we got the merch. We met Ryan. Uh, Couple boat. When did we meet you? It was like at a boat show, right? Yep. Last, Couple uh, boat shows ago. The last boat show, um, yeah. Fort Lauderdale. Loving what yeah. you're doing on your channel. Thank you. Thank you. Really appreciate it. What kind of rods do we have here? We have basically, I like to say, a snapper rod, a mahi rod, we have a slow pitch rod, and a bass fishing rod for our bass people or our landlocked friends. Awesome. Awesome. I absolutely love what you guys are doing. I love watching your channel. I still learn a lot from it. And um, yeah, it was great meeting you guys. Great to see you yeah. again. All right, guys, I'm here with Jake from Black to Beach. We got Living Salty, guys. He's in the Black to Beach booth. Yep. Check it out, guys. We have all of our plushies, our hats, performance shirts. We got our Black to Beach fishing poles right behind you, all our accessories. Nice. Guys, if you have not been yet to the Miami Boat Show, it's one of the biggest boat shows in the world. Check us out here. We're here, and make sure to watch Living Salty on YouTube. Check out his content, it's fire. Really appreciate it, Jake. I've been a long time subscriber and big fan of Black Tip H, so it's so cool to come out and see them here. And I'll be seeing Josh tomorrow, right? Yes, he'll be here awesome. Friday, Saturday. Can't wait for it. As you got to see there, I got to meet up with some fellow YouTubers, which is always fun. And let me tell you guys, they're just as cool in person as they are on camera. But these aren't the only two YouTubers I talked to. I also had the pleasure of meeting Captain Nick Stanzik from the Stans Fam, along with the one and only Dar Sizzle from Dar Sizzle Offshore, both of whom were great people and a pleasure to talk to. I really do love the retail part of the boat show, but I really just wish there was more of it. There were only a few aisles, and to be honest, it could probably be walked in about 15 minutes or so. Of course, it took me a little bit longer because I stopped to talk to a bunch of people, but anyways, I really just think there should extend the retail portion and make it a little bit bigger. Anyways, I moved on from there to the main floor of the convention center, and let me tell you guys, it was huge. And honestly, I'm a little embarrassed to admit how many times I actually got lost in there. Let's take a look at some of the cool boats I stumbled upon while getting lost in the convention center, like the new pontoon style sea switch. Alright guys, I popped over to the sea booth and I'm really excited to show you guys this new pontoon boat that sea came out with called the sea switch. Pop the board over here. Jet propelled pontoon boat. Super cool, so it's got a hard material, hard decking material. Lounge sheets over here, a nice little lounge sheet. All the seat over here. Nice spacious area. Oh, that's cool. They still kept with the original jet ski kind of steering. That's cool. I didn't expect that. I expect them to go over with a, you know, traditional boat steering wheel, but I really like that feature. Looks like they're going to have the yep, IBR braking system. Cubby to store everything. This is really cool, guys. And oh, they have um. There's there's definitely a foldable t top. Please. Oh, here we are. Here's more. You guys see the the foldable t tops and the ones over here. There. This one says 230 horsepower. That boat is. I'm not sure if they're all the same or not, but uh, that one actually looks like it's a little bit. Yeah, that one looks a little bit bigger than this one. Um, yeah, I'll, I'm gonna check them all out and show you guys, but. These are really cool addition to the um, Sea-Doo lineup. Sea-Doo is always the innovator, the big innovator in the jet ski industry. 
uh, in my opinion. They always come out with the cool new stuff first and uh, really cool to see um, Sea-Doo coming out with this and see what, how Yamaha responds and what they come out with. Although Yamaha does have their jet boats already and um, center consoles and everything like that, so maybe Sea-Doo wasn't the first one with this, but um, Yamaha doesn't, to my knowledge, Yamaha doesn't have any pontoon boats. So Sea-Doo is uh, the first one with that one. Okay, so I hopped over here to check out the other switches, uh, CD switches, the pontoon boats. Looks like they have a 13 foot, 18 foot, and 21 foot. So that one I was on first is over there. That was the 13 foot. It was a 174 horsepower engine, 18 foot 230, and 21 foot 230 as well. Some noticeable features I see here. You have a nice like kind of L-shaped lounge in the back here um, with a nice swivel chair, big captain chair over there swim platform in the back with a like wakeboarding pole or uh, ski pole up here in the front we have a kind of like a foam texture so over there was like a harder texture over here is like a foam texture with some um, seats here so you can lounge out and get comfortable in the front and overall a lot of room over here they got a setup where they put more seating in the front more bench seating some tables and like little looks like little I don't know I thought this was a little I thought that was a playpen for a kid or something but it's just the door <laughs> the door swings open there like that but yeah overall these sea do switches seem pretty cool and let's see if we can find a quick price um, there's no price no pricing on here so I'll look it up online I'll throw it on the screen for you guys and let's keep moving on yeah I don't really know what I was expecting but honestly, I was a little surprised with how expensive those Sea-Doo switches are. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Do me a favor and drop a comment down below and let me know what you guys think. Now, who wants to watch me drool over my dream boat again? A 32 CV. All right, I'm not gonna do a walkthrough of this boat, guys, because I've already done one. You guys can check it out. Um, I'll put the video that it's in on the screen here where I compared all the 32 foot center consoles or a bunch of them at the Fort Lauderdale boat show. But I just had to come on here and give you guys very quick, because this is the dream boat. This is a 32 foot CV center console. Always been one of my favorite center consoles out there. It's a fishing machine. It rides incredible. I know that because I've never been on one before. <laughs> From what I've seen, it rides incredible and it's, it's an awesome built boat and it's definitely the dream boat. So we meet again, 32 CV. One day, one day, all in one. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe one day. All right, you guys already know I had to stop by and check out the 2021, or actually, sorry, 2022 Yamaha Four Stroke Superjet. Super cool. And if you guys remember in my last video, my last Black Fort Lauderdale videos, they had the Riva edition here. So this edition actually looks like it's stock. So the other one had Riva handlebars and everything like that, and Riva steering. This one looks to be completely stock. So this is what it looks like in a stock form. Pretty clean. Looks nice. One thing I admire here is this little travel bag they have. Let's open this up. Pretty cool. You can store your probably your phone and everything like that in there. We don't have anything like this on our skis. We just ride without our phones, without anything, because we just get wet and everything would get wet. So. Pretty cool stuff that they're doing with the uh, new Superjet. Now, if you guys are new here, well, then welcome, of course, and hit that like and subscribe button if you're enjoying. But here on Live and Salty, we keep it real and we keep it honest. And to be honest, I was slightly disappointed with the in-water section at this show. I don't know what it is, but when the show was at the Key Biscayne location, it seemed like there was so much more to see in water, and it was a lot more inviting to hop on the boats and check them out. I feel like here I just wandered around a couple docks, of course getting lost, and just looked at the boats from a distance instead of up close. I really hope in the future they put a little bit more effort into this in-water section, as it's always been one of my favorite parts. So you guys check this out. We have Eski which is a 100% electric jet ski. This is the first ever 100% electric, electric jet ski that I've seen and the only one I've seen so far here at the boat show. Um, I've been waiting for something like this to happen since we have so many electric cars. The popularity of just electric things in general has really ri risen over the past couple years. So it was only a matter of time before someone figured out how to make an electric jet ski. So it seems like these guys at e-ski are figuring it out. 
I was told that right now it maxes out about 65 miles an hour and it gets three hours of battery life. And they said they're improving it and they're hoping to get an all day battery life, which will be, which will be super cool. And they're looking to have um, ski shipping to their customers by 2023. So eSki, eskipro.com, something you guys want to look out for. Might be making huge waves in the boating industry. It was so cool to see these guys at eSki developing something that honestly I think we've all seen coming for a while. And they're super cool people, so you guys should check them out. Now there's always these crazy things at the boat show, like this plane you guys are seeing right now. And it's obviously not a boat, but it's still cool to see. Now to show off the rest of these insane boats at the show, maybe we should go cinematic. You know what? Yeah, let's do it. I can hear the demons call when they do what they do And now I feel like taking off, find a place with the view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through I just gotta get through, I just gotta get through Cause I feel like taking off, find a place with the view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through Sometimes I feel like all is lost And that's going to be a wrap for the 2022 Miami Boat Show videos, guys. I'm sorry, that was just like a little bit of a tease of the cinematic stuff. But um, I don't get to do this kind of cinematic stuff for these kind of videos very often. I really wanted to show it off in this kind of video for you guys. But if you guys did like this video, make sure you hit the like button and consider subscribing down below. And make sure you check out the other three episodes from the Miami Boat Show. If you guys like this video, I totally think you should check out this video on the side of the screen where I go over the highlights from the 2021 Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. Alright guys, until my next video, remember to keep living salty.